This is the cheap Leica camera that no one knows about it. Get it till will not disappear like X100V and other great cameras. Let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Tudor Matescu and I like to talk about photography tips and tricks and photography gear. So if you are in content like this, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel because I'll post more content about this. So my greatest camera of all time is Lumix GX9. Is Lumix GX9 a micro for such camera? When I've bought Lumix GX9, I was always thinking about Alix 100 Mark II. Why that camera? Because it has the Leica glass on it. It has the Leica glass on it. It's not just the Leica logo. Because it's small, it's portable, very, very portable, very light, and so on. I was looking at LX100 Mark II pictures and I was able to see that Leica glowiness, that Leica bite, that Leica depth of field, that Leica micro contrast. Yes! The blurry depth of field is not like on a like a full frame, but you have that smooth battery, blurry background when you want it if you know to use the camera. So anyway, this is the camera that is a Leica camera with AF small and portable. Also, Leica has a similar camera called Leica Deluxe. It's a known fact that Lumix is working close, very close with the Leica manufacturer. So Lumix, as I was able to see on my Lumix GX9, has some Leica colors to it and has some Leica bite to it. But from my point of view, after uh, using and experiencing this camera, I feel that yes, this camera has that Leica bite to it, that Leica glass and that Leica look. And you can buy this camera still brand, brand new. And uh, if you know to set up this camera, you'll be able to have lots of focal lenses in this zoom. This camera has a setting that is called step zoom. So you'll be able to zoom from 24 millimeters to 28 to 35 to 50 millimeters to 70 millimeters and to 75 millimeters. And this step zoom is great, great, great. Also, you can set the camera to remember the last position of the zoom. So if you are a 50 millimeters shooters, you can keep this camera on the 50 millimeters field of view. When you will open it, the zoom will go to the 50 millimeters field of view. And this means that you will not have to carry with you lots of lenses. This zoom is a aperture variable zoom from f1.7 to f2.8. So you have a good aperture for light and for subject to background separation. So this is why this camera is a great, great Leica camera to be taken with you everywhere you go. Yes, you could say that it's a micro four camera and uh, even smaller than a micro four camera, but the images again are great. You have the same sensor as on GX9, a little cropped depending on the format that you want to shoot, but the fact that you can change formats and maintain the same diagonal on this camera is amazing. So you can put this camera in square mode and keep it in square mode and you will not have a chance to recompose after that. So what this means? This means that you must commit that you want to shoot in square mode. This is great. This means this camera is a camera with a squared sensor because you will not be able to recompose the image in another mode after you've shot it. So this commitment will help you again think about composition. And I really love the quality that I'm getting from this camera. The black and white files are great. The JPEGs are great. The RAW files I've tested and I've edited the RAW files are great, are great. At least at the level of JX9 but with a better lens. This is the most interesting stuff. The lens is great. The lens is great. So on GX9, you could put a 20mm f1.7 lens or another lens. But this is a Leica 
glass signature lens and it's not just branded it's not just branded so you'll have great image quality in such a portable small camera easy to be taken with you and the ergonomics are at least or if not better of x100v so this camera is totally totally rocks so i really do recommend get it if you want to go to camera with you an everyday carry camera with you a great camera for family pictures for travel photography for street photography and for all kinds of photography this camera is fully fully packed of tricks this guy has more tricks than gx9 to it more tricks and i'll do different videos about this trick so please subscribe for more and please be sure to check my other videos that will appear after me saying to you bye bye